Hello folks, welcome back to Coffee House Forge. Appreciate you stopping by my channel, saying hi, and seeing what I'm up to today. Work on a little project. Last week, me and my son, we started working on a couple of knives. I started working with one out of an old Anderson file, and my son started working with one out of some uh, tool steel. So, with this knife, I want to go ahead and do a um, bolster and a guard on it, and since I haven't done this, give it a shot. Looking around, I don't have any brass laying around, so I don't really have anything to make a guard from. So what I'm going to do is, I've got jars full of these. We all know what these are. These are good old pennies. Everybody has jars of pennies laying around. So, did a little research, kind of find out, pennies, not copper. Well, they used to be made out of copper. Before 1984, they were primarily copper. After 1984, they now changed and they become a different uh, material makeup. Hang on one second, I've got to grab my cheat sheets because I don't have these numbers memorized. So, pennies are now made out of 97% zinc and 3% copper, which is a copper coating on the outside. Watch some videos from people who use pennies in order to make jewelry, and the zinc is a can be polished up to a high silver that is really good looking. So I said, okay, that'd be kind of cool, but I still want to have that brass or copper look so what can I do to make this work? So the next thing I came up with, another thing most of us have laying around the house, a bunch of old keys. Now, for years I've had the opportunity to gather old keys and old keys and old keys, so I've got quite a few of these. So I want to melt them down. <clears throat> Again, did some research on that, and I didn't want to be fooled the way I was with the pennies and want to find out was keys really made out of brass. I've seen keys that are silver and I've seen keys that are copper color so or brass color so I want to find out what they was. Keys are common brass which is composed of 63% copper, 37% zinc. That's what makes brass. So now I've got brass and I've got zinc. What I want to do is melt my brass down first then we'll turn around we'll do the zinc next. Now some words of caution. Dealing with zinc is kind of like welding galvanized steel from what I understand. It's, you got to be careful from the fumes of it. As you can see, my shop is an outside shop here in southwest Florida. I'm under a carport. My forge, which is sitting right there, is also outdoors. So I've got some pretty good natural ventilation going. I will also have fans running to make sure the fumes are burnt and blown away from me. Some of the people I saw smelting the zinc because it is such a low temperature, actually you should use the blowtorch to do it, and obviously you're right above it. I'm going to be melting, or smelting, using my homemade codron, or whatever you want to call it, I believe that's the right word for it. Took some heavy gauge metal uh, tube stock and cut it to the size I thought would be a good size, welded up a base onto it, gave it a handle, uh, fill it full of keys, throw it in there and melt them down, pour it in the mold, we'll see what we come up with. That's the plan for today. I do want to give a shout out. Chandler Dickinson is a gentleman I've been following for quite some time on YouTube. He's upstate New York and he does a fantastic job. He's been very inspirational to the work I do and I've learned a lot from him. He doesn't know all the answers but he tries and he figures that a failure is a learning experience and that's the way I look at it too. I say that my perfection is in my imperfections. When you make something homemade it shouldn't look like it came out of a factory stamped from steel rolled down a semi line. It should look like it's handmade, which means it's going to have some minor imperfections. That doesn't mean turning out something that is poor quality. It means turning out something that you can tell, sweat, sometimes blood, and your inspiration went into. But let's get this, this job started and let's see where we end up at. Number of keys in there. I think that'd be enough to make what I need to make there. So, watch us throw it in. See how it works. They can see what I'm doing. I'll see how it works. Here I'm using the hole though. whatsoever. We'll let it cool for a minute. Looks pretty much even and uh, a lot less issue than we had yesterday. A lot more 
lot better success than yesterday. A little bit of cleanup. That is a good. It's brass. I think I can clean it up. I'm actually going to forge it. Put it in there. I'm going to hammer it, clean it up and forge it a little bit, and we'll uh, have a nice, good, solid piece to work off of. Now, that was brass. Next step we're going to go for is zinc. Now, these panties, they cook off at 600 degrees. And because you're all dealing with zinc, You've got the issue of the gas coming off that galvanized metal. First thing you do is you're going to get a color change as that copper cooks off and the zinc will start coming up. Don't breathe. Oh, fuck that's pretty. I'm getting ready to pull it off. We'll pop it out the same way we did the uh, brass. And in the water, you can feel the water boiling. There we go. All right. All right. Here we got in the end. I'm going to say probably close to a half pound of zinc. What I'm going to do with it? <laughs> we'll figure that out. I know it shines up beautifully. And then brass is not quite as heavy, probably less than a half pound. Probably somewhere closer to about six ounces. I'm going to put this in the forge. I'm going to forge it out, try to get some wrinkles and lines out of it. This zinc, though, it pours beautifully. And I'm really curious to see how it's going to look when I get done with it. Never poured or never poured brown. on this with the zinc engine. your patience with this my computer um, dropped the video audio on this one so I'm gonna do a voiceover here we go here is the brass that I worked on this was approximately two dozen to, or so keys came out very nice while I was forging it it did break actually in two and you can see from the end grain I was a little concerned because this looks very almost like a chocolate bar but once I ground it a little bit it did tighten it up and I think it is going to make it a very nice um, handle for a knife I'm working on currently or a good guard I should say that of course is zinc from the pennies very heavy very dense I plan on re smelting that into runes such as what popped up there for my Viking runes please check them out let me know what you think about them I did go to the polishing wheel for just a few minutes didn't want to spend a lot of time on this as I knew I'd be doing some more grinding cutting and possibly melting down in the future but I want to see what I ended up with this was a fun project to work on took something that's lying around the house and actually made good use of it so once I hit it with a little bit of green rouge on the polishing wheel it came out rather nice you can see here where I give it a look a little bit of polishing and look how shiny that is 
I do know some folks who actually use those for making rings and different jewelry because they do polish it very nice. And it is legal to smelt coins as long as you are doing it for artistic reasons and not just for selling the, the raw product. So from there, I went ahead and grabbed the brass. Figure I'd throw a little bit of polish on it as well. And this is what it came out. So it was looking bad before I even went to the jeweler's rouge but I figured I'd throw it on there and also check it out I do want to thank everybody for stopping by watching my videos I'm new at this I appreciate any constructive criticism and comments and I'll try to make them better in the future the brass came out nice the zinc came out nice you see a little pop up here these are some photos I took from what the raw product was and what it came into uh, and then of course I put a little pop in here at the end of this video uh, Be looking for this product being used soon in the future for some various stuff I'll be working on and please stop by my Facebook and my Etsy store. Have a great day folks and appreciate it